want to I want to take this time out to say RIP to DJ Clark Kent, legendary producer, tastemaker, elite sneakerhead, produced a lot of classic joints, right. playing anthem, all type of other shit, a whole all type of shit. Shout to him, legendary nigga, man. We lost a couple legends. I don't. Did we shout out Fat Man Scoop when we lost him? I don't know if, if we, we shouted didn't, out but Fat Man Scoop. Fat, Fat Man Scoop, Scoop. RIP to him. He was a great one. You know Colon I mean? cancer is ravaging the community. Let's you feel let's me? go get them color. How you say it? Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. <laughs> like, I'm I'm listen, man. I'm anti two finger butt test. You feel me? I feel you. Why why you ain't get it detected? But if you want, lay down and get the real procedure done. Whatever. Um, but more than anything is change your diet. Colon cancer isn't coming randomly. You feel me? Colon cancer is coming from what you're eating. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And the, and, the, and, the, and the shit that's in your motherfucking colon that's not coming out. You know what I mean? Like, so black men, especially because it's ravaging our, our, our community harder than harder than all the other ones because of, of our diet and our lifestyles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's clean yeah. it up. I'm tired of seeing, I'm tired of seeing black men Pack, getting packed up before 60 from colon cancer. It's crazy. Nasty, bro. Yo, yo. We back at it. So the mic is good. Shit going for <laughs> You Gucci? Word. I gotta make sure everything cope with Make sure we Gucci. We back, though, man. Episode 171. We're all set podcast. You know we in the building. Your boy Rich is here. Free is here. I'm on a check-in. Hello. What's going on? Free. We fresh off a homecoming. Another yes. beautiful spiritual situation. Great, great. Yeah, you know I mean, elite black, elite black people was linking and, and getting together and all that all weekend. You know what I mean? Beautiful situation, bro. Yeah. How you felt about um, it? Um, I got a few comments on homecoming <laughs> on where I'm at. Talk to me. Uh, if I have, first of all. I want to make sure that nobody takes this no type of way. But if you're somebody that does, like, if we don't speak on a regular basis, like, not even through IG or whatever the case may be, and when I see you, let's kind of limit the dialogue to, like, 20 to 30 seconds. How you doing? You got kids? Keep it pushing. Like, a lot of y'all niggas be dragging it. And I hate having a whole, I had so many full-fledged conversations with people who I did not know their name. And I'm just sick of doing that. It's like, it's That's annoying. crazy. It's That's annoying. Crazy. It really is. Like, I was literally sitting talking to people who I did not know their names. Now, granted, a lot of people were talking about how supportive they were of the podcast. I appreciate that. They were telling me how they've been telling their friends. Their friends love it. Grab some merch. But I do appreciate all of the people who said they've been tuning in. But besides that... I just can't do the excessive talk with people who I don't know their names. I ain't you gonna said, lie. No, if I don't know your name because we don't talk like that. Like we be, we might only talk since last homecoming. So yeah. enough is enough. If you, I ain't gonna front. You come up talking pod, you my man's. I don't care nah, if I know you your my name. Man, or nah, not. you my man's. You if my you man's. Up, if you come up co-signing the pod, I'm fucking with you. I don't care. You my man. I, I exclude them. I'm just okay. talking about the regular niggas. And then I know I'm older now. And I got a, I drank a little bit on the Friday night, the Friday homecoming city. So I didn't drink at all, like at all during homecoming to tailgate. I had coconut water in my in my cup, um, and I only gave them niggas limited two and a half hours. I didn't have the the energy. I don't have the energy to be out there for five to six hours anymore. I don't so know. Be mad drink. to get get your, get your ginseng on or something, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, man, because we it's, was partying hard, bro. I know. We I, went hard. We went hard from Thursday. Nah, Sunday was over. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday, niggas went hard, B. I ain't gonna lie. But Thursday night went bonfire. I got bombed in that shit. Uh, Friday night, we went. Man, you, I seen you at the day party. Actually, you came in that shit mad late. I'm like, what's up with this nigga? Yeah, I was the, late. Uh, <laughs> That's how I was at the tailgate, too. We uh, we did the we did the bonfire shit. Not bonfire, uh, Olive Branch. Shot the day they and um the bank was lit. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, it was sturdy. It was sturdy. They bought through Shop Boys. They bought through Roscoe Dash. See, I missed all that. That's why I gotta stop yeah. being too cool. They, yeah, you, there late. This is what I'm saying. Like, you, I don't know, y'all you niggas be too cool, man. Y'all gotta get get with the times, man. Uh, they bought through my shot the shot the D Leaks and Street Zex. We brought through brought through uh Shop Boys, Roscoe Dash, and uh who the other, the other nigga he brought through. Another one of them nostalgia niggas. I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember them they niggas. They was thirty, but that shit was lit. Then we did the flow. Then we did the after party at flow. How was that? That sturdy. shit went crazy. 
Copy. That shit went crazy. Shout out to, shout to Larry. Larry had came from Power in there. Came from Power and fucking the other nigga, that, the fake gay nigga from P-Valley. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I see my nigga Ray Cryer and them did about 10 bottles of Ace, some dumb shit. You know what I mean? A couple, they went off. The, short, the shorties had their couple on tables or some things going on. I heard on. that. My homegirl, Brittany, she did her thing. I heard she went yeah. off in there. They were doing their thing. Uh... My man, Ed and D-Leaks had Kyle Pitts and uh, some other, Pat Peterson and some other famous niggas falling through. You know what I'm saying? We, it was sturdy. For alumni party, niggas never seen that many celebrities in alumni party, alumni anything before. It, sure it was, was it was definitely lit. We had o, action. O nine party had that, O nine party was different. Um, and it was, it was a lot going on this weekend. Like, you was competing with Rugs Weekend, the all black shit. Then it yeah. was, um, One Music Fest had some, a lot of after parties. I heard parties. One Music Fest was crazy. Yeah. Um, nigga, Saturday... I ain't even, I ran into, um, fucking, that was that, that wasn't Saturday, nah, Friday night. After the flow shit, we went to Onyx. I ran into mad niggas from the black party. I was in Onyx like six in the morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so you kept it going. Yeah, sure. I was in Onyx like six in the morning on Friday. Copy. Ran into mad niggas from the black party. Um, nigga, when I left Onyx, I ain't going front. Shout out to Rudds, because outside Copper Cove was a movie uh. at six in the morning. I was like, yo, this is crazy. I ain't, it was wild black chucks. Black trucks lined up, Phantoms, Lambos, all type of shit out there outside Copper Cove at six in the morning. I believe shout, it. Huh? I believe it. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, shout the rugs. Those niggas was playing, everybody was playing a little different this weekend. I heard the One Music Fest shit was lit. Gunna yeah. had this shit fucked up, even though I don't, I don't jack them. I respect what's going on. It is what it is. I had to fucking pull a kamikaze move to get in the fucking tailgate. So when I got up to the gate, like, you know, they had everything fixed it was a off. Lot. It was you a know lot. what I mean? It was a lot. So, were you just, talking about in the back by the Ray Charles shit? I went in through um, Jasmine's over there, that area. Okay. Like, right in front of leadership. Okay. So, long story, the business center, pardon me. But long story short, so as I'm walking up, and there was, like, two event staff, there was this lady, shorty, she, you know, she got on her Spelman House of Diddy shit. She like, yo, my mom's in there, I need to get in there. She's sitting down, she's dehydrated, I need to get to her, like, yeah. flat out. And it was like, nah, like, we're going to get your mom's, but, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're not letting you in. We're not dressed. And she was started spazzing, like, nah. So then when another body came over and was like, nah, there's somebody there sitting with your mom. She good? She was like, nah, fuck that. So she started pushing through. Mind uh -huh. you, they was curving everybody while all the commotion was going on. I yeah. did a little, ooh, ooh. Yeah. They jumped up, hopped over the little two-foot uh, concrete <laughs> parameter and just walked the side. And I was in there, like, swimwear. It was cool. But, um, nah, it like was good that. to see people. I definitely had a finagle my way in there. Yeah, got to go out two, three good hours. My man D. Haynes was sick. He was supposed to meet me over there. He couldn't get in. He had yeah. to play the outside. You're supposed to get there a lot earlier. I I got there. I'm gonna start. I'm, why, next year I'm going to the football game. Watch you this. You niggas is too cool for me. I got there. I got there at three, and I felt like I missed wild action. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I, I got. I came. I came to. I came through the back. My man said got me a wristband. I go. I go. And I go to. The, I go over there by the hill. And I don't know what's up with the, with the with the internet talk. Everybody hating that niggas had sections out there and all that. Like I thought that was regular shit. That's what we do. You niggas is fucking corny haters, bro. Don't hate on how niggas choose to have fun, bro. Like you know yeah. what I mean, if niggas want to have tables out there, sections, and do the damn thing and have hookahs and bottles like they in the club, well, that's what the fuck niggas is doing. Like you know what I mean, like yeah. what well, that hater shit is corny, bro. Yeah, we not doing that. We out there with the Casa Azul, out there with the forty two. We had a great time, man. That's 30. some hater shit, man. I'm not hating on how niggas choose to have fun, man. That's yeah. some corny shit. It was a lot of love out there, a lot of daps and hugs. Definitely, you know what? I get what you're saying about I, I niggas. I, I was keeping it rolling on niggas, like, like it's like yo, <laughs> I just start walking away, like, all right, bro, like you yeah. know what I'm saying, like, like nah, we not doing too much, too much overly chopping it up, man. It's just good to see you, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, family, okay, ah, uh, ah, uh, go have some fun, b. We not doing all that extra shit, but. I had a great time. We never seen so many black niggas winning in your life in one spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got to work out the logistics, though. Like, it's way too many people, like, in certain areas. Like, I couldn't even walk around the whole shit. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's always OD pack. It was certain areas that you couldn't even, like, you had to, like, put a, a different type of effort into pushing through niggas and shit to get through there, and it just, like, it wasn't worth it. I just but turned But the crazy around. shit, like, up until the last few years, I don't remember having no issues That's, when it yeah, was this just this is a recent up. problem. Like, this is a recent problem, and also they've been adding different shit. Like they added like niggas, they they letting niggas get big ass, big ass, big fucking tailgate shit and all type of. It's new shit they adding in everywhere. They fencing different shit off, so the logistics of the flow of the people is all fucked up. The planning is fucked up. They need to hire some better people planning, move around big event motherfuckers. I don't know the name of the actual job 
job title, but they need to hire that guy. If the logistics was Just fucked open up. Open that shit back up, man. Yeah. The fuck. Open it back up. You're trying too hard to stop niggas from doing this or stop niggas from doing that. And everybody that that's that if you know somebody or if you go you not you gonna get in. Like it's not so just chill. It's not, just let niggas have their fun, bro. School was tripping with that shit. School was tripping with that shit. But um, on the other matters, B, your man Lil Dirk locked up federal nightmares. Nasty. Nasty. News of the week. Murder for hire. <laughs> it's ugly. Niggas are screaming. You, niggas are screaming. You might never see Dirk again on the street. Yeah, I just got the phone. My cousin free him. Um, your tough cousin. Yeah, my tough Shout one. Shout to him. Free him, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying he he fighting a, a nasty case, but he gonna be home, so we gonna work it out. We gonna keep him in our prayers, but um, yeah, he just like even from there, he, you know, knowing how the ins and outs of the system, he's just like it's not looking too good for Dirk. He said minimal life. Yeah, you know I mean, he said niggas he know that got the same charges. Dirk got seven life sentences. Like they got roofed, and they really roofed the murder for higher niggas more than the shooter every time. And they got I, I, they got multiple. If they they put I think they're gonna put more than one body on them. Like you know what I'm saying? Because in the Fed shit, they like yo they they said like they mentioned a couple. Like they didn't mention the actual shootings, but they they was talking in multiple. Like they wasn't talking like it was a single incident. Like yeah, they're like yo he. Hires nigga, he hires his niggas to catch catch the bodies, like, and then, then like they get a good deal with OTS. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Lucrative, woo woo woo. Um, I, I heard, I heard personally, like who the nigga that's a LA LA crip nigga that gave up that gave up Quando Rondo location. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say who his name is, but niggas know who he is. Mm-hmm. He's probably, he's gonna get roofed, or he's gonna finish telling. He's gonna finish tell, the telling. Mm-hmm. So it's like they like yo, little Dirk is cooked, and it and you, your guilt, your guilt was. You, you showing your guilt when you went try to buy you try to book different flights and throw niggas off your trail and all that and all that like should have got on a boat. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think if you want to escape, you know on a boat. With, you in Miami, you got a better chance. First of all, you got to throw your phone right away. Yeah, that has throw to your phone you. away. Throw get your on phone, a boat. Get on a boat. Get on a boat. Go to Cuba. Get, get on mean? a boat. You Cash get on a boat out all your Bahamas. chains. You can get the Bahamas love. in what 45, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And then we're figure it out from there. Yeah. Cut your, you have to cut the wicks. You have to be Caesar Dirk with a hat. Yeah, do and you'd have been something. Right. You'd been cool. You sell all the chains, cash out. If you got 200000 here, I just need 40, 50. You know what I mean? That's enough to get you on a boat, get you to the Bahamas, and figure it out from there. There's you know no mean? way he didn't know that there was some spice going on. Listen, side note. Russell Simmons is in Bali for a rape charge. Let's be clear. Yeah, he's got it. He's, he's out the way. He's not. Y'all not and, y'all, and he giving niggas an advice. And y'all not coming to get him. So... Listen, Dirk was supposed to go water a boat, toss your phone. If you really gonna go on a run, you have to. T- y'all niggas gotta toss your phone, and, and don't think y'all gonna digitally, electronically get away from niggas. Flying yeah. is the last option. Dude. I, I did, it's yeah, ground. It's, flying is ridiculous. Like it's not happening. It's not. Man. It's either ground, train, bus, or boat. That's it. Flying in, not in 2024. You're not you, flying, bro. You gotta get out of there. Or if you do fly, it gotta be early. Like you gotta skip. Soon as you hear a little little whispers, you gotta get out of there. There's no way he had no idea. It gotta be like out. helicopter from somebody crib if you gonna fly, like from the building. Like it can, it's not. It can't be no private airport. It can't be. Definitely can't be commercial airport. No. That's ridiculous. And then when you book any of them flights, your name. I got stopped by picked up by Homeland Security at the gate. Yeah. So when you book a flight, like and you got some nasty work that they they already get the alert. Like, are you trying to go where? Niggas was on me like, oh, you thought you was going to El Salvador? Nah, I'm like, nah, I'm on vacation. What the fuck? Yeah. But I say that to say he was supposed to go, um, supposed to go boat. Um, also he was supposed to let that shit go. If that's if the main thing he's getting accused of is the murder of Quando Rondo's cousin, certain shit like that, like the Vaughn situation, them niggas jump that nigga. Like, what you like? You just gotta take that L on the chin, b. Cause I. I seen the interview he did with Wilo and then when he pulled up with a hundred niggas and a million in cash. And Wilo told him, I seen the nigga, I know the nigga that killed my brother. I let it go. I'm not promoting that, but I'm just saying, like, if you know that you meet that one, I understand nobody wants to lose a family member, and I understand how the nigga could take that. I would be ready to crash out if somebody killed my brother. But when you got that many people depending on you, family and kids, that has to mean more. You know what I mean? Because now, you you when you remove yourself from the equation, it's a super detriment. To get back in the events, yeah, that's cool for your pride and your ego for the time being. But what's about the other side of it? Man, yeah, fuck that. I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm not even mad at him for the get back. Like, put in the pain, but what's up with the planning of this shit? Like, you booking niggas' flights on OTF cards and shit? Like, I was an assistant. I was the dumbest shit ever. You booking the shooters' fl- 
private. Like it's, Honestly, like, it's like a bad episode of Power. Let private me say jets this. for the shooters. I'm, I'm not to tell nigga not get back. I that's I was talking to homie about that. That's like one of them situations where it should already been understood. Like all right, niggas is gonna take him out, and whoever's around him, when we see him, we gonna get to him. Like it only I don't even, that shouldn't even have been a if that was the case. If like y'all really on that like that, and niggas is really hurt behind Vaughn's depth. It should have just been understood, like, all right, this is what we're going to do. It shouldn't have been, he shouldn't even have to call the shot to, yo, we got to make sure we get his cousin. Like, it should have been like, yo, that's an on-site situation. I mean, that, but that, an on-site situation is 10 times more likely to get bagged for. I mean, you, not, you might, you, it might not end up being a federal investigation. Is it because it's not premeditated? It could just be like, yo, we ran into him, we started arguing, yeah, and then we shoot out. But you're way more likely to go to jail, though. I mean, if he'd have properly. because Lil' Tim is free. Yeah, because that's, it was self-defense. That's what I'm saying. Or try to ma try to make yourself defense or whatever. Like I, I mean, like, like, we was arguing. He swung on me. I mean, that I would say that's better than than tr conspiring to kill somebody. Nah, I think we should just conspire to kill niggas better. Like that's not the right way to conspire to kill a nigga. Like yo, you you buying you, for one, you had your assistant book flights for shooters, private jet on the open. In his company defense, card. he told niggas not to do that though. In the text message, he said, "Yo, do not use any other company cars." And he, he, did, that. It anyway. he did it anyway. So I can't even like what the fuck he told niggas then, don't do it and then and he like, texted that what make it so bad is because y'all gotta be careful with these phones at I, in the message he texts don't book none of these niggas fights with the OTF credit card yeah so that that's all ridiculous it's like a bad episode of power and that's like at this point I feel like bro y'all niggas got the money like why is nobody following the the the, the uh. The uh the pay, the PRV, the PRV blueprint. blueprint the PRV <laughs> blueprint like hire real murderers stop telling your mans and them to go catch the bodies like you know what I'm saying like follow the PRV blueprint man cash only and hire real shooters man a real a real ninja man shooter would have came through actually hit Rondo you hit you you hit the cousin now it's like you just caught the body I mean it was cool and then and then the self snitching like now it's like yo. Hold on, we pulling up this verse and that verse. Oh, like interview he's talking act, about this shit. I'm like, man, ask him so about him. Like, yo, you, I, how you feel about all the comments saying slide for vibe? Like, oh, I guess. Oh, he's like, oh, I don't, I don't hear those. I don't no hear more. those. I wonder no why. Ah, uh, uh, like, come on, bro. You just like too much self snitching, bro. Yeah, the self snitching. That's the thing. Help. That's the thing about about like niggas be wanting credit for the for the action so bad. Yeah. Niggas that's, be that's needing credit had. for the action. That's well, but 20, 30 years ago, you used to be like you didn't want nobody to know anything. Yeah. But now we're in a whole different junction. Niggas want credit for the action so bad, and it's like we, it's like you can tell by the way he tried to clean his clean his image up in the past like eight year or so. It's like so obvious that he knew something was going on. So why Muslim stay in the country? Shit. Yeah, he should have been left. He's supposed to be out going. of here. Get the fuck on. Just be in the win. Be in the win. Yeah, I mean, because it's clear he knew something was going on. All it. He been going. He been doing the most hard body image change. The the uh, he just had a peace concert the other day up in Chicago. Shout out all the niggas that got killed, even on even the ops. Yeah. I don't get it. It's it's just a nasty situation. And then they said one of his um people on OTF was wearing a wire. Oh OTF yeah, the gym. nasty work. The OTF jam nigga. The nigga that he gave a fifty thousand dollars to a crib and a car on to come home. You know what I mean? And helped them get two buildings. So, like really set them up right, like here you can't fuck this. Yo, up. that's mind boggling and diabolical, bro. Nasty. And and from allegedly he was wore the wide because when he came home he got caught with the blick again. Yeah, he caught a whole like, separate gun charge that had nothing was, to do with Dirk yeah, at all. And, and they was like, nothing. yo, you gonna sit down for a long time or put the wire? Get down on? with OT, get, get down, down with the OTF wire. The OTF wire. <laughs> get down with the you OTF now. Get down with FBI. Shit, me. You gonna switch your letters around? Yo, that's so crazy. Dude. I just seen um. Paid informants is like a real thing now. Like yeah. them niggas got real salaries. Them niggas in New York City niggas making like a hundred thousand dollars. Shit is disgusting. Nah, yeah, informants get paid, bro. Them niggas getting real checks, B. Yeah, bro. Informants get paid. That's why. That's why all that my name ring bells in the streets is fucking dumb. We got to shout out um, Lil Bibby and Chief Keep for removing themselves. From removing the dumb himself. Shit. Lil Bibby cleaned his whole image. Cleaned up. his whole shit up. Signed Juice World, he's chewing forever. Yeah. He's Gucci. Yeah. Chief Keef, y'all niggas was calling him pussy, and then and he stepped off. Like, yeah, I'm good. I'm in LA. I just get high and, and drink lean. I don't yeah. do the dumb shit. Yeah. I done lost my brothers and cousins. Like, what, why do I want to continue to promote that? Yeah. So a lot of people was hating on Keith, saying he was scared. I get it now. And not that I get it now, I got it then. And it's this is just a, a prime example. Clearly, he made the right decision for his future. 
Same thing with Lil Baby. Them niggas got the fuck on. Yeah, all that just, all that whole nigga, nigga mindset of staying in the staying in the trenches and being down for the real nigganess and all that is really just dumb. That's a dub, fuck. especially when you got a real check around. It's you. just dumb. Like you it's not even worth it. It's yeah. never worth it. There's no, there's no, like, at times, it, all right, you want some, you got pride or whatever, be a man and all that, but there's no honor in just being a stupid nigga, bro. Ever. And just being surrounded by a bunch of dumb ghetto shit. Like, like, at some, like, you should, and you should think past that shit. Once you hit, anybody past, like, 25 still on that type of time and it's really on, on a short bus, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, at that point. And it's sad, it's a lot of niggas still on that time, though. Cause niggas ain't nothing else to do. Like, that's the... It, that's really what it comes down. Niggas don't be having nothing else going on but gang banging and but doing tough shit. shit. But tough shit. I'm tough, bro. If you don't got no motion, what else? You gonna be angry, so now you automatically gonna be tough. That's just how that goes. Yeah. So it's just a nasty situation for Dirk. Um, pray for him. He has no bond. <laughs> I mean, duh. And uh, especially when you try to slide through Dubai or whatever you were trying to do, like. <laughs> he tried to throw them niggas off <laughs> with the multiple flight bookings. They was like, huh? We got your we got your location right here, buddy. Because we triangulate your phone that you forgot to turn off. Yeah, uh, he wa- uh, he's not watching enough TV. It's like he's, he's not, not watching, watching enough movies. Like, yeah, they teach you how to get away from these niggas. Yeah, they do. <laughs> There's niggas. Listen, God bless the dead, but the nigga that killed um Ag brother, that nigga's in the win. Soto, yeah, Soto's in the Soto's win. Soto's in the win, bro. Soto, that man. nigga went got, got the dr and got the fuck on, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That nigga's in the wind, be like. Shout out to Soto. I mean, no, no disrespect to Mike and them niggas, but Soto is my real friend. Fuck all that. Um, your man Metro, accused of some freaky shit, accused of widow shit. But you know, the accusations just keep on coming for niggas in the industry. It is nasty. Cap Williams did say at the beginning of the year, chickens will come home to roost. Lie exposed secrets. What's up with all the freaky and weird shit, man? That was a weird, that's a real weird, weird accusation. Why is he around? Why are you niggas taking pussy? I'm not going to put that on his jacket because I don't know the facts, but like. She said he, she, wait, he took her shit and put, put, got her pregnant. Yeah. And you, kicked her out the room. I, I don't understand. How, what do you get out of fucking a bitch that's unconscious? Like, she not even fucking you back. So it's just like, you really was that horny that you just had to wait for the bitches black out. Not moving, dead body, and then you got your shit off and nutted in the bitch. But nah, I will say a joint could be blackout drunk and still still kept moving around doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like anybody getting you. I, you can get blackout drunk and still be like in motion. You know what I'm saying? And you wake up and not remember none of that shit. Um, I would say that I don't think she was just like a dead body passed out. I don't, who knows? I don't think she. <laughs> I don't think it was that deep. But I I've been in situations where. It's a joint. I'm already clapping, and I'm like, "Yo, you're too wasted. I'm not hitting this shit right now. Like, I'm good. Like, yeah, you know I mean? like, happened to me before. I, I had two bitches in my bed. This was years ago, and it was just super smacked. And I was just like, I can't do it because y'all not like responsive. Y'all, yeah. y'all, once you're past responsive, it's like, yeah. all right, I'm cool. Yo, bro. extra slurring. You're moving, yeah. man. Sloppy. I don't even it's want like, it. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah you feel me? You're moving too sloppy. Um. It's it's a, it's a nasty charge. Diddy got another charge too by a ten year old boy. Shit is just they keep coming. Oh, an actual charge or like one of them uh, simple it's, joints. It's, yeah, accusation. It's just a nasty accusation. Um, speaking of puffs, you want to speak? What the fuck was Flex talking about? Who <laughs> you was just listening to with Sean? Yo, Flex is out here wilding on Sean. I don't even like. Uh, what's that about? I mean, Sh- is he was... just basically saying he's a sucker for like acting like you wasn't? Cool with Puff and then fronting on him? Like, is that no, what the, the I think gist he's of saying it? he's a sucker because recently, recently, I don't know if everybody knows, but Sean just had a recent um interview, like some quick shit, where the people would ask him, what, like, what do you, like, what was your involvement in the freak offs and all that? And he was kind of saying, like, yo, I never was involved in no freaky shit. I'm really a victim of Puff. And ah, uh, ah, uh, like, he was kind of play some, play, say, like, he just was an innocent young rap nigga coming up and. Some he got a caught up in Puff World when they end up doing a bid for Puff and it's all Puff fault. That's mm-hmm. how his energy was, and it's like, bro, like Sean, he was wilding. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't respect that shit either. But I didn't. Flex was really putting this shit out there, like, yo, I remember when you did this and you Niggas did that. Beat you and, up in the studio, yeah, <laughs> like, like, I ain't throw that Flex out was there. really throwing shit out there, but Sean wasn't no innocent victim of niggas, bro. Fuck out of here, like that's that, that's crazy. Now that you a political nigga, you trying to remix the past, like, nah, bro, no way. No way. You see, I, you see, uh, Puffy Sons was all, with, they said Puff Sons was wilding on niggas in, in, in Cali the other day for talking shit about Puff. Oh, I missed that. What they did? They got static heat? Nah, yeah, say they just was yelling nigga. I'm trying to figure who the fuck it was they was wilding on. I forgot. Hold on. Let me see. I just um, seen that the, shit. The Quince, 
not Quincy. Well, yeah, is that Quincy Albie Shore, son? He about to release yeah. a documentary about the Combs family and just about their day to day shift. I think the timing is nasty work, but yeah, what are you going to do? Who wants to see that? I mean, people is going to want to see this. Wanna see it, they want to see a train wreck. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, nah, bro, that's. It's bad timing for positive, for positive, uh, positive, you know what I mean? Like, y'all should oh, be, like, executive producing documentaries. It said, it said he tried to wow on Ray J at the Halloween party, but Chris Brown broke it up. Oh, shit. Which one? Huh? Christian? Not nah, all of them. Oh, all shit. All three of them were together, Christian, Quincy, and Justin. <laughs> Niggas shot to pack up Ray J. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they said, watch your mouth. It says, Diddy Sons pushed up on Ray J and his people outside the parking lot of the party. I like that energy. Uh, yeah, we here, stupid. Yeah, I mean, they got, listen. At the end of the day, that's your pops. That's your pop. You got to offend your pops. He put yeah. y'all niggas in position. Yeah. And they got a lot, they still a lot of money around. They still got a lot of niggas ready to crash out for bad yeah. boy. Don't be fooled. So. There's a lot of old head niggas that's like, yo, what? Yeah, that's still on time. Exactly. I was just about to say that. There's still a lot of old head niggas that's like, they don't give a fuck. They, yeah. was, on, they was with it and they like, riding with bad boy. Like, yo, in the 90s, them freaky bitches was with that yeah, shit. With that and shit. we, we not, and, and, and we, we got we cashed out. We co-signing it. We co-signing Puff. We not letting it go. Yeah. Like, Puff you see, that. he ran. I just seen Puff was in all of before he got picked up. Like, recently, when we ran into g Dep, like, all the old head niggas was yeah. still fucking with him. So, again. Niggas still riding for Puff and his son said we not going. Yes. Defend your father. Man. The day, I, yeah, I respect the nigga defending his pops. I, the old head freaky niggas, other other freaky niggas, they, they kind of wilding. But I respect the old, I respect the kids, though. Fuck it, man. Crash up behind your pops, man. Yeah. Should have swung on Ray J. Fuck yeah. it. Uh, Yo, Treats is fucked up. Everybody that kicked the chef said JP Morgan is suing you niggas. I just seen it. I told all so you, you niggas that was going, that all of y'all that put y'all Chevy on the line, and y'all let niggas dump enormous, outrageous checks in your shit, they're coming for that, bro. Like, I, if maybe I tell niggas all the time, keep that shit on a the dime, they might let you, might let you rock. I, I remember, I remember probably over like 15 years ago, I was fucked up. I let niggas put like 7,000 in my shit, like, oh, yeah. wait, you know what I mean? I need the bread. And I, like, they just closed the account. I'm back right now. But that was that. It wasn't no investigation. It was like, all right, seventy five hundred. We'll write that off. When y'all niggas think y'all dropping a hundred plus, two hundred, three hundred, and they not coming to get that, they're coming for that. They need yeah. this. And they they starting it with the civil matter. That's going criminal too. Oh yeah. Once you think they sweet, once you think they lay down the paperwork on some civil shit, they need two hundred thousand from you. Think that, I don't want to get real case not coming. Getting sued from Chase. A lawsuit? Are you shitting me? Yeah, you know that? Look, want. that's just all. That's gonna that's be over your head for You're the going rest to of your jail, life. buddy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> She's like, what? You go to jail, buddy. All you niggas is that did. If you did six, I'll say even like fifty and up. They might. They want this now. Under that, they might not file criminal charges, but fifty and up, they coming for that. You're getting sued, and they got all time. They got time. Don't don't get it fucked up. They got the funds. It was so ill. How about this? I um had sent some money to my fidelity. You remember they was a part of they had their little glitch, and they was like, I was like, yo, I sent this shit like a week ago. Like, what's taking so long? I was like, yo, listen, we had two weeks when they was tearing our head off. I told to the lady, she was like, it was the fraud shit got crazy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They had to change their whole process. They was like, we used to clear you two to three. Now it takes seven to ten days. Yeah. You used to build deposit checks up to hundred k. Now it's a thousand dollar maximum deposit. Oh, because they got tortured. You know what I mean? So. I get it, but again, they coming for it. Like, and a lot, I'll say this though on the flip side, a lot of them niggas, they don't really give a fuck. Like, if you was on your dick paws or you was on your ass and you was down to your last couple of nickels, you not really caring about they, they Catch me when you catch me. In the moment, you ain't care, but when you got the paperwork saying you, they need all 200 back, and now you in, I hope you in the win. That's what I'm saying, you in the win. I hope so. Get on you know, the boat. You know they just came out with the. Um, you had two months to catch a flight. You know so they, yeah, exactly. You know they back. They they talking about they back prosecuting the PPP niggas. They not done with that. They they told you it's a ten year thing. Don't think they. they nah, they said there's no statute limitation. Oh, there's no on statute that on that joint. They taking a statute limitation off the PPP. Oh, that niggas. Oh man, it's a whole new round around a whole, a whole new round, round of round bang. Up. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. The PPP niggas. Is un, I know a few of, niggas that got some ab enormous numbers. They uh, got, yo, they got the list on the internet. Like, you can look up the government niggas. They got a, 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 a fucking snitch line where you could hit them niggas up and say, like, hey, him right here, I don't think his PPP was legitimate. Like, it's that deep, son. Yeah. They not, they didn't forget. <laughs> and Chase didn't forget. 
So yo, be like right now, yeah. The the like you said, keep it light, keep it small. Hopefully they might overlook you. Everybody that went that went crazy. If you struck for six figures, I advise you to, to get in the win. Get in the win. And if they you didn't get more than six figures, I advise you to. You should have been gone because they the gave you two get months. On the boat. Of, yeah, y'all had time. Like yeah. you had time. Like once you started pulling out and you seen like it was like okay, like I can yeah. access my breach. You gotta get the fuck on. Yeah. And honestly, if you're gonna put. Three hundred thousand. You putting your life on the line. Like you should be ready to make a life changing move. Yeah. If that's the case. Yeah. When you're doing like if you if it's that critical, you like yo yeah. fuck it, just send three hundred. You gotta know that that's a super federal crime yeah. and ready to make a change. If and get you the pull, fuck on. if you pull three, just like hug your mother goodbye and yeah. like get out of there. Just it. let her know I'll call you from different numbers. It'll be alright. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like you won't have to. We Maybe leave us some. Leave up with a dub. You know I mean? might be able to fly you to where I'm at at one yeah, point. We'll meet somewhere. Five but, years down the line. You know what I mean. But for now, like, it's quiet, bro. You know what I mean, like, the niggas, I don't think niggas be aware of the gravity of their decisions. Like, yo, if you pull 300, be prepared to hug mom goodbye. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you not, you wasn't, you didn't really think about that. Nah, facts. <laughs> you were supposed to, like we just said, as soon as the money hit, when? all of that was supposed to, you were supposed to be in a win then. Like, <laughs> yeah. identity was supposed to be switched, all of yeah. that, be Like, y'all niggas is bugging. Facts. So, I mean, that, that's that. Facts. Switching it up. Um, everybody's upset at Shaq for talking about Angel Reese Cheeks. I mean, I I get what he was saying. I get what he was saying, too. And I've been saying this for the longest about the WNBA. Lower the fucking rims, B, please. You don't... If, they, if, if I could turn on the TV and Angel Reese or Aja Wilson was dunking on niggas, yeah, be I'd be watching that shit more often. Like, it'd be super lit. I tuned in for Kalen Clark, right. but y'all gotta make the overall gameplay exciting. Lower yeah, the right. rim. Y'all play with a smaller ball? What the fuck? What's the problem? Men's hurdles and women's hurdles in the Olympics, the women's hurdles are a little bit shorter. Yeah. This is this is a real thing. That's real shit. So they, they say it's Shaq wrong because like he he been knowing Angel Reese for mad long and he like a big older uncle to her and all that and all that. He said it on some OGC. He said, you know them shorts you had with your ass out? Bring If you was to wear those, niggas would be lit. Yeah. Take I, it how you want. I, I mean, is he, act, is he supposed to act like he didn't see the, this shit? Yeah, we see it, bro. He talking out of the, how he talked to her. Don't take it no type of way. Like, I don't, like, is he supposed to pretend like he didn't see her with her shit out? Yeah, like, he did. He was like, yo, imagine he was playing at those niggas would be lining up to watch that shit. They would. Yeah. They would, but I, I, I would, I would personally rather see the WNBA with women not take the whole route, like, and just go lower rim. Just like, lower rim. Lower rim, more. Let's get your skill, more, more skilled players, and 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 let's do it like that. Like, let's not take the whole route. I'm not saying they got sexualized. I just say they yeah. should lower the rim. I, don't give me don't. I, I like the I like the off court sexualization. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I like, like this year. Like, it's the baddie, first time. Baddie energy. Yeah, like, you know I, mean? I felt like, like, oh, WMA got some joints. Got some joints, you feel me? Like, like let's promote the pretty joints. Yeah. Let's get into that. Baddie energy is, is I like baddie energy, but like, not like not on court hoarding, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't need all that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need all that. We, have to, we, we want, we want the, 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 the women on the court to be role models to the young women, the young daughters and all that coming up. Like, I mean, you want to be able to take your, your daughter to a WNBA game yeah. and be like, yo, be like her. Like, be like I mean, her. Not you don't want to see like, Cheeks up. Yeah, it's That's not lingerie lot. league. Like, have That's some respect. A That's a lot. Have some cool. You feel me? That's a lot. Um, Transitioning. We gotta talk. It's a lot of political. We're gonna shift shit into going the on. political energy, man. I'm gonna light the blunt for this shit. Crazy with you the said political what? stuff. I feel like I gotta light this split for the political what shit. What you gotta do, B? It's a lot going on, B. Election is next Tuesday. You like your splits? The ballot boxes are on fire, too. <laughs> they blowing shit up. Who did that? Up. They, they said the Republicans, a Republican did that. I don't know what to believe. Huh? They said I seen on the news that Repu- uh, was a, allegedly a Republican voter did that. Somebody told me. Somebody told me it, it looked like a white redneck man, but they caught one man. But I, I, I seen it was multiple situations though in different states and all that. So it had to be some type of, uh, what's it called, a coordinated attack. Coordinated you know what attack. Mean? Some type of right right wing militia vibes or something. You know what I mean, you never really know with these people. Um, speaking of the news reporter, I got a quick shout out to Jeff Bezos. I don't know if you know, you know he owns the Washington Post, and he did an op- op- op-ed, and he basically was like, look, yo, we're not- He wrote it? Yeah. He, oh, word. Talk he, to was, him. he was like, yo, I just want to let the people know, like, all of this promoting one candidate, we're not getting behind Kamala, we're not getting behind Trump, like, let's go back to reporting the media as objective yeah. being possible. Yeah, down and the Indian, middle. Down the middle. And some of his, like, workers was, like, pissed off. He was like, anybody that feels some type of way about that, fuck off. Like, Because you're a news reporter. News Report reporter, the bro. news. Don't- like, y'all niggas is wildin'. 
give me bias. I'm so sick of biased news, bro. You're a news reporter. You're supposed to be down the fucking middle. Stay, re just report the news. Report the if news. I want opinion, I listen to a, like this. This should be separate, a separate space for opinions. Yes, and just a separate and for news. You know what I'm saying? Like I get, I get when I'm listening to late night talk shows and new shows that, all right, clearly this is opinion. This is pundits. This is talking heads. This is opinion, yeah. right? But when it comes to actual reporting the news of what happened that day or whatever, maybe that should just be down the middle. Yeah, you know 100%. Saying? Like, like, come on. So shout to Bezos. Shout to Bezos for that. That's respectable. A lot of Keep rallies going on. on. Shit like that. Beyonce was at Kamala's rally. How you feel about that? I mean, I heard it's after niggas big. came to niggas came to watch Beyonce, and then after she left, a couple niggas was booing. Niggas was sick because they thought she was gonna perform. She ain't. She just spoke to him. Nah, not, you know, I'm not here She's to. She's like, boom. I'm not here to. I'm not performing. I'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all. Dance. I'm here to talk my I'm shit. I'm gonna talk to y'all. This a, is this gotta be. Is this her first time making like such a bold political? Nah, I feel like she was down with Barack. She did like the she Barack. Barack. She came out for Barack. Yeah, I feel like she was down with Barack. Listen. I Kamala got all of the top black celebrities on her side. That's what I for sure. I mean, all the bought and paid for so so motherfuckers. And plus Eminem, Eminem pulled up. You know what I'm saying, let me know yeah. where he stand. Kelly was there. <laughs> yeah, let him know. Bad Bunny. The celebrities bought and paid for. We gonna stand up. Yeah, but I mean, shit. They they showed up. On the flip side, <laughs> Trump had a, a a dark humor comedian that a lot of people are up in arms about out his rap. He got weird over there, b. He shouldn't have let that happen. Yeah, he was. I don't know why you let. You just not supposed to let him come up like. like have him do the roast after you get elected. Like, like I understand. Just a bad Trust thing. me, I understand the joke. I ch <coughs> I chuckled a little bit. I, I like understand. I like racist jokes. I That's do too. me personally. And I and I um for everybody like oh he just he attacked everybody. He even mentioned the Jews and the Palestinians and he was like yo they won't get this shit together. Yeah. They need to have like you know they're gonna have like a rock paper scissor fight. Palestinians gonna always choose rock, and the Jews, you know, they gonna always choose paper. Yeah. So it was like he has dark humor. I'm not saying yeah. I was like he's not Bernie Mac funny to me, but I understand it. It was a yeah. terrible selection on their part. It wasn't needed. Um, exactly. He had Harry up, Harry O up there. If you don't know, he was the one of the founding members of Death Row. Freed him. So, I mean, again, it's getting down to the wire. It is what it is. I also like it's the times that the campaign trails. And the times that we in are unprecedented because you had Kamala, she's going club Shay Shay now. Yeah, like the, 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 the Democratic, the, I mean, not Democratic, the, the political uh, scape and everything has totally changed. It's no longer uh, uptight, news yeah. only. That yeah. it's not, the, the political shit is now basically lowbrow. Like, you know what I mean? It's, oh, like, it's, 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 it's like half world. a step above lowbrow yeah. at this point. You know what I mean? You got comedians out here. They're doing podcasts. Trump is doing it's Aiden like Ross. It's like a step above battle rap. Yeah, I <laughs> like, mean, Trump, for real. Trump is on Aiden Ross. Kamala's on Club Shay Shay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Trump it, is on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, at this point. Shout out to Club Shay Shay, though. Even though I'm not yo, a big fan of shout Trump, that shout nigga Yo, he's, he's making, he's, like, making real in the last year and a half, two years, he's made, like, the biggest strides in media, like, that you've ever, probably ever seen. Like, it's crazy. Like, he went from, like, 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 not no, not to shit on niggas, but Marlon Wayans and Cat Williams type shit to Kamala. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even before that, it was fucking Monique and whatever. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It yeah. was, like, been on it, was like C, it was, like, C++ plus list comedians, black comedians, to fucking the, the, the presidential candidate. That's fucking huge run, B. Yeah. But in the C plus comedian um defense, they they made for they popped the it off. The yeah, they popped it off. They popped, they popped it, off. it off. Shout out to Monique. I ran into Monique at the top spot and I gave her flowers and she was real nice and polite to me. That's respectful. Shout out so to Shout out to Monique. Um Yeah, it's just like I, on either side, whatever way it goes, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of unrest. Like again, we talked about our previous episodes, giving civil war energy. It's, 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 I mean, it's if lot. Trump lose, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some. It's gonna be some shit exploding and, and, and gunshot. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, they I, not white niggas gonna be like, so I don't frustrated. see. I don't see uh, the MAGA uh, core just like going going without a fight. I think they're gonna call like rigging. They're gonna say like, oh, the computers, the Democrats did this and that. Like they're going. They're not gonna take not the just gonna L. Take it lightly. They're not gonna just say, oh, we lost. Fuck nah. it, it's over. Move mm -hmm. on. Like it's gonna be. Some crazy shit going on for sure, yeah, without a for doubt. Sure, for sure, like that. If the Dems lose, they're gonna be upset, but they're not gonna. They're not gonna fight. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. They're gonna cry. They'll they're cry. gonna cry. They'll, they'll cry. But they're not gonna fight. The 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 MAGA MAGA's gonna fight. Robin Hood is letting you 
if you don't know Robin Hood, that's the popular brokerage you can trade stocks. They have allowed you to trade futures contracts. <laughs> like the gambling shit is at an all time high. They just give you anything to gamble on. So basically, you can pick Donald Trump or Kamala, um, right? Now, and they base it off. I want to say poly market odds. Donald Trump has a sixty three percent chance of winning. So to buy a Donald Trump contract is sixty three cent, and Do and Kamala's is like thirty seven. And it works basically is whoever wins, you get a dollar payout. And if you if you pick whoever loses, you don't get any money. So that's just how the payout goes. So basically they're using like the the using the money, the losers money to fund the winners pretty much and take I mean that's how the market works. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying <laughs> That's, you say I'm explaining to the, uh, to the people. Uh, how about I say that's literally how the market works. Like, I was about to say, the losers fund the winners. But mm -hmm. yeah, for the people out there that you know, stock is that's a lot for a lot of niggas. Like a lot of niggas still don't understand that the losers <laughs> are funding the winners. <laughs> that's what how I was saying. Works. You know what I mean? Literally, if you didn't know where the money, where the winner, where the money came from, it came from the niggas that lost the money. <laughs> like when I be, I was trying to explain to somebody like when you're selling a contract, like you're selling it. There's somebody on the other side that has that to take that. That took a nasty L. <laughs> And like they just couldn't. They're like, where are they? Like, what? What other? Where side? are they? <laughs> so if you don't understand the market, it, it can get weird. But um, yeah. I I just want to say about that, we have totally slipped into gen degeneracy. I degenerate. I placed a bet. I'm not gonna say who I bet it on, but I I placed a bet. I mean, yeah, I placed I mean, a small bet. I didn't place on. Look, I just want to see what it was, how it was gonna play out. At this point, I'm not mad at anybody for participating in the degeneracy. But at this point, we've slipped in the absolute, total degenerate society. The USA is a society of the fucking degens, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. At this point, like, a there's a fraud. reason why gambling was illegal for a long time. There's a reason why there's a gambling hotline. Yeah, because I, I got real problems. We we for I think like it was so long that gambling was illegal that we forgot how detrimental it is to the human psyche. Oh, and to, I've and seen to the gambling shit. Take down marriages, people in my family, bro. Like I've seen it firsthand. Yeah, yeah. It's nasty. Yeah, like I be playing around with it. I I gamble a lot, but I yeah. don't. I always have like I'm gonna never like jeopardize my bills. I've yeah. seen it firsthand when niggas would jeopardize their bills. Come they jeopardize the bill, like, like come, it's a bookie in your, the bookies in the living room. Like yeah, the, say, shit. introduce himself to your wife. Yeah, you know I mean, like niggas. It's own not the just bookie. TV. Niggas, it's not TV. How it's about niggas is on the bookie? You know what I mean, it's the bookie looking for him. You know what I mean, like niggas want to break your legs now because yeah. you, you try to get low on the bookie. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of that going on. So yeah. it, it gets shaky. It gets shaky. Um, so let's get I got, a, I got a parlay to put down tonight, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Copy. Look, I mean, I'm in one too. I gotta check when we I go to the so I'm like, yo, I gotta see what's going on. I, gotta check I, when we I go missed to the half. early games, but the ten o'clock basketball games. Oh yeah, there's a parlay happening. Copy. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 I'm in the middle of one right now. Fuck. As <laughs> soon as we go to halftime, I'm checking it. I just, I just want y'all not to. Risk life, risk don't the crib. risk your fucking don't risk, your don't risk the crib of the car, Jesus. Don't risk it all over the parlay. It's not that deep. Have patience, man. Mm -hmm. Um, let's get into the drip. Wrap this half up, man. Talk to him, free. Yo, um, every week at we're all set at halfway through the episode, we got what's called the drip report, the flea report. Talk about what's going on in the fashion industry. There's a couple things to report on this week on the drip report. Kanye West and Adidas have finally settled out of court. And nobody owes anybody anything. If you weren't aware, when Kanye made a cup some alleged anti-Semitic, well, when he mentioned Jewish people, I'm not even going to say anti-Semitic, I don't like that word. He mentioned Jewish people, and Adidas had issues with things that he said, and they kind of, like, tried to sever ties with him, breach his contract. They were in a nasty fight. They were ended up left with a lot, millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars of Yeezy merch that they couldn't sell. So they came to an agreement off camera, not, I mean, outside the court, and... There will be no more Yeezy and Adidas, and there won't be no more um, new releases. And that's that. Everybody's going to go their own separate way. So oh, so Adidas can't release no more Yeezys? I'm, I'm, from, what I, from, what I'm, from what I understand, it's, it's just over. Everybody's going in separate directions, and that's that. Is Kanye still allowed to slander Adidas like, like how he was? I, I, they didn't release they got, he had, they had to put an NDA in there somewhere. Because he's been wilding on Adidas. He's been wilding. Wilding on Adidas. Um, Fair Guys did a collab with NBA, too, Essentials. Trash. <laughs> enough is enough. Trash. Enough is Yo, enough. I, I, I'll stand on this any day of the week. Jerry Lorenzo's a fucking hack. <laughs> like, he's not nice. Yo, listen, I had a lot of central shit. They had a good run. I don't like it anymore. It's not that I don't like it. It's just like, it's comfortable shit, and I get what it's supposed to do and all that, but it's also lazy. Like, 
I'm just gonna call it spade a spade. It's it's, it's kind of lazy work. I'm not mad at him doing a collab. Milk it. I'm listen. I'm happy for black people. Yeah. So Jerry Lorenzo milked the shit. Niggas yeah. still want to wear essentials. Get your NBA collab. He did the Adidas collab. That shit was nasty. Then they didn't move the marker. They didn't move anything. Yo, nobody the was NBA checking for that shit. Shit is like he didn't even try. It's just a nigga logo and essentials. And essentials like fuck it, which is cool. It looked comfy. I seen the first person I seen with it was um. LeBron James' wife, Savannah, I thought it was like some custom shit. Yeah. She had the Lakers essentials, and I was like, oh, that's a real joint. So, I mean, that could be some calm shit. You wear her a game, chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not going to just say it's super dirt, but it's not super. It's, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Like you said, it's the logo and essentials. Regular shit. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It, look, the it, reason, looks, it looks cheap. The reason why I'm I, I'm not mad at, at Jerry Lorenzo essentials because the price point was always cheap. Like, he, the shorts was $40. It wasn't like he was trying to beat you in the head. Yeah. I give him that. Yeah. He wasn't trying to beat you in the head with the price. I get, I, yeah, I get it that it's supposed to be the uh, the 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 cheap, the, the the lower price rung and supposed to be accessible for everybody and all yeah, that. Yeah. But it's like, does it have to look cheap? The, the regular essentials don't look cheap. The NBA essential lot kind of look up. cheap, bro. <laughs> like that shit, like made in China, OD. Like you know what I mean? Like I be mean, listen, let them milk it. It is what it is. Fuck it. It is what it is. We be back. We got some bills to pay. Yeah, we got man. some shit we coming to talk back. About. Elite scumbaggery. Uh, Giselle's pregnant. Giselle, Tom, ex-wife, Tom Brady, ex-wife is pregnant. Monday Night Football. Got to talk it. World Series is nasty. <laughs> I, mean, I got my niggas on today, but whatever. We coming back. Uh uh. Um. Ah, uh, all right, we back, we back, second half. You already know we kick off every second half with elite scumbaggery. That's when somebody does some scumbag shit. But we got to shout them out because it was elite. This week, I want to switch it up. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not going to do elite scumbag. I want to, I want to take this time out to say RIP to DJ Clark Kent, legendary producer, tastemaker, elite sneakerhead. Produce a lot of classic drinks, right. playing anthem, all type of other shit for whole all type of shit. Shout to him, legendary nigga man. We lost a nasty. couple legends. I don't. Did we shout out Fat Man Scoop when we lost him? I don't if know if we, we shout out Fat Man Scoop. Fat, Fat Man Scoop. Scoop. RIP to him. He was a great one. You know what Colon mean? cancer is ravaging the community. Let's you feel let's me? go get them color. How you say it? Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. <laughs> like, I'm I'm. Listen, man. I'm anti two finger butt test. You feel me? I feel you. Why why you ain't get it detected? But. If you want to lay down and get the real procedure done, whatever. Um, but more than anything, is change your diet. Colon cancer isn't coming randomly. You feel me? Colon cancer is coming from what you're eating. You know what mm, I mean? And the, and, the, and, the, and the shit that's in your motherfucking colon that's not coming out. You know what I mean? Like, So black men, especially because it's ravaging our, our, our community harder than harder than all the other ones because of, cause of our diet and our lifestyles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's clean yeah. it up. I'm tired of seeing. I'm tired of seeing black men, packed getting packed up before sixty from colon cancer. It's crazy. Nasty work. Um, RIP to you, though, Clark Kent. Tad to see you go. Um, let's move on. Your girl Giselle Bunch and Tom Brady's ex-wife is pregnant. Already got with a seat the on the way. Trainer C. Is it the trainer nigga C? The trainer. Yeah. It's fucking nasty work. Yeah, nasty. She could have been the elite scumbag. Should be. Yeah, really. She right. could have. You right. feel right. me? Yeah. I did, she. She lucky. I wanted to take take the time to pay some respects. In. They'll pay some respect. Um, I'm disgusted, but I'm not surprised. Cause this is how the sleeves moves. This mm -hmm. is how they move. And if it can happen to Tom, it can happen to anybody. But see, you know what? Tom is a, a elite on the court, but I don't know what that nigga does off the field. He I don't might know. be a corny he might be a corny. Yeah, he like, might be a I still don't like how he kissed his son in the mouth, even though I'm not going to judge nobody. It was a little extra weird. And then again, like, I, his aura might just, he might be one of them niggas. He might be a cuck. Who knows? Because it seemed like it was just, she was getting slammed right under his nose. And, um... Then she just decided to go to get pregnant a year later. Yeah. Let's know it's been going on. Yeah, like, he, he, he was shit. moving around a lot, so he was easy to finesse him. Yeah. But you know, any any time a nigga's a competitive psychopath on the field, you never know what type of weird shit he's into on in real life. You nah, know? for sure, for sure. It's I mean, it is what it is. I will say though, like a lot of niggas was like, well, um, 
that's such a path to take from going to a married wife to a baby mom's. I mean, don't act like Giselle don't got her own hundred million. Like she's yeah, she's, she's good. Itchy. It's not, once you once you pass a certain threshold of bread, it's not who cares if you're married or not. Like, yeah, yeah. Man, she's good. She's good, and she now nah, she can pick out the nigga she want. Like the yeah. nigga who's gonna be the trainer nigga who's gonna be where all the time. Yeah. I'm treating her Muay Thai. She's crazy. Yeah, she's good. Um. World Series is currently going on. Like the Yankees might drag, might drag, drag it out. Yeah, they, but it's over though. Third inning Grand Slam. Shout to them for showing some fucking cojones. Showing some fight. Yeah, you know man. What I mean, five four, but still a couple innings left. It's still early. Don't let's not jump out the window yet. But this has been a good World Series. As far as no, it's not been a good World Series because my niggas is losing. But I've been entertained. Like they had a walk off Grand Slam in the first game of extra innings. Like yeah. that's that was fire. And we're gonna call it spade a spade. That yeah. was elite shit. Um, Aaron Judge, we're gonna get it to you a little bit later, but you've been nasty work. You gotta step your shit up. He he came out when it mattered and the game did nothing. Soto, shout to Soto. You, we got to give him whatever he wants, whatever he's looking for, yeah, whatever he needs. He's clearly the best offensive player on the team. Him yeah, and Stanton, Stan, and Stanton just can barely run. He got thrown out at the plate yesterday. Come on, my nigga. He's too diesel. That's on the third he's base. He's so brolic, he, he can't. He can't that run. Home. Yeah, he can't run. Just he just had that nigga as a DH. That's that. That's it. he don't need to be doing any more base running. It's quiet. Yeah, you feel I me? I mean, you know, the DH runs bases regardless, but it's like, yo, don't chill out. Don't try to make him leg it out. Yeah, like come <laughs> on, like if it's if it's like um fifty fifty, like tell that nigga to stay. He was supposed to stay at third because that was a nasty run, a nasty out, and we needed that. But um, Otani he ain't been shit either. But it's been covered up because Freddie Freeman been blacking. Yo, home running I know every the game. Braves are sick. Sick. Because y'all haven't really done nothing since he left, and he's out here going absolutely ape shit. And like, and y'all, I, don't know, I couldn't believe y'all let him go. I was shocked by on that. Like, hometown, you know what I mean? He I don't down with think it was a let him go. I think it was a try to low ball him. Yeah, they tried to low ball him. You know what I mean? You it's like, I'm going to go to LA where they got a, we got a bigger check for me. And, 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 and um, you know, baseball don't got no cap. So it's mm-hmm. like, Damn, like, pay me. Pay me or I'll go get paid. Like, what are we talking about? Like, are you fucking me. kidding me? Fuck. Um, Monday Night Football. Giants suck. What else is new? Daniel Jones is trash. You know what's crazy, though? Their defense is sturdy. They just need it. They're like a quarterback and maybe, like, one other skill player away. Yeah, they're, Honestly, they're not, like, they're not like the Jets. They're not nasty work. I mean, they're the Jets nasty. got a good defense, too. That's because they got Aaron Rodgers. They're both a quarterback away. Yeah. yeah let's just say they're both a quarterback yeah, away. Yeah, both a quarterback away. Both a quarterback mean, away. The Steelers did hang up, what, 26 points on them? They Russell, didn't blow them out. They didn't, they didn't give a two touchdown win how I predicted, but they still covered the spread. They covered. They did yeah, cover. I thought it was going to be a little closer. Yeah, they covered the spread. Russ looked decent, except for that nasty fumble. Yeah. But he, he listen, one thing you can't say about Russ, he do throw a pretty long ball. Pause. He get it down the field. Pickens looks rejuvenated. He looks happy. Hundred yards past two weeks. The the, all, the, the, the space now. Najee looks like he's moving around. around. Najee is sturdy. They did like I said. They, they had a couple of issues in the red zone in the beginning in the first couple yeah. quarters, and I think you know that's where Justin feels. You might miss him because he can make plays with his legs. Exactly. A couple of times I'm like, yo, Russ definitely lost a step. Yeah. The wheels are not They're there. Not there. They're not the there. The wheels are not there. They're not you know there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. A, I ain't going front. I, I think the offense is better with Russ, but I wouldn't be mad at a little bit of platooning. It's yeah. a couple of plays you can th- run Justin oh, Fields Justin out Fields there out and there. let him do some him more do some athletic shit. run shit. You know what I mean? Like, you, figure it out, Mike. Platoon yeah. some shit sometimes. Because it's a couple of plays that you definitely could have had Justin Fields coming in and run. Because Russ has clearly lost a step. Yeah. Clearly. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. But look, Steelers look like they're going to be a hard out. Yeah, I mean, I don't that, fuck for anybody. You're not. I mean, you, you're not. You don't want to see T.J. Watt in the winter. You don't. You don't want to see the Steelers with a competent quarterback. That's what I'm no. gonna say. Because that could go either way. Because the receivers are on his ass as you thought. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> on any get, I, I like if they would have beat the Bills in a playoff game, I wouldn't be shot. I'm like, I mean, yeah. Yeah, they can beat the Bills. They can beat the Bills. They can beat the Bills. And they might fuck around and get Lamar problems. You know what I mean, like they Lamar already has issues with them niggas. Yeah. So. Watch out for them, for real, for real. I, I, in a in a playoff game, even though I think Baltimore's a better team, especially with getting Deontay Johnson just now, I, I think Mike Tomlin is going to outcoach John Harbaugh. Yeah, I agree. I think he would too. You and then Ravens' pass defense is ass. Yeah, Pickens will eat. Trust me. 
Like, unless they go get a corner or a pass rush, niggas yeah, they need, going, they need you, can throw, you can throw all over them niggas. They need one more corner in Baltimore, and, and Wiggins is a rookie, so, you know what I mean? He got he still needs some seasoning, but he, he's good enough, but he needs some seasoning. Um, We got to talk Coach Prime. Shador and Travis is winning. Like, I'm, eat, I'm eating crow. Eating crow. I'm eating crow. 23 ranked team in the nation. Got to shout out to Dion, made me eat crow. Could have been Put seven my foot in one. my mouth. Yeah, he did. Could have been seven one easily if they don't lose that Kansas State game. I feel like they gave that away. Yeah, they did. But um, Shador's looking good. Travis Hunter, first nigga to ever get offensive and defensive Big Twelve Player of the Week. Like he's doing some shit. Yeah, like he's they different. they on time and over there. Shout to Prime. He made a the niggas is a real team for real. Definitely they, look and, like they going to a bowl game. And this they year. play hard for Prime. Like they they going all out for Prime. Yeah, they is. They is because Prime. You know when you up. Beneath all the smoke and mirrors, when you peel back all the dumb shit, like Prime is, he's like a good nigga. You know what I mean? He set up yeah. checking accounts for everybody that had a seat. He's doing the right thing. He got to live for them. He's making it a, a memorable, enjoyable college experience. Because yeah. they are kids. So a lot of times, oh, he got fucking rappers in the locker room. Like, that shit is probably led to a 19, 20-year-old. Are you fucking crazy? And then, and then, and, and then it's, all about, it's all about image. It's all about the, the vibes and the recruiting and everything. You don't think a nigga in a, in a boring-ass with a t- uptight stick up his butt coach and the transfer portal is not like yo oh, man, I can go Boston over Richie over there like yeah. what like, I can go over I can go to Colorado and hang out with the rappers Boston that I, I like and, and shit like, yeah. you know what I mean on, so, some ch- on some chill shit yeah it makes sense it's like yo appeal to the appeal to the youth show them that you down with the culture and you never know where it can go nah for real you got a shot prime he's doing his one two step yeah I respect it um we gonna wrap this joint up. We had a long first half anyway. Yeah, we did. We had a good first half. It was a long joint for us. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'll start it off. But yo, listen. <laughs> when we conclude every episode of World Set, we let y'all know what we all set on, what we off of. And I'ma just start off by saying I am all set on Aaron Judge until further notice. Bum ass he nigga. hasn't showed me anything. He's stinking up the joint. Bum ass nigga. Like Yankees is down 3-0. It's just nasty work. They gave you 300 mil and you just showed your ass this whole playoffs. You haven't given me anything. I'm disgusted with you and I'm all set on you. Nasty work. Um I'm all I'm all, I'm all set on Ice Spice. Oh wow. I'm just not like her body transformation is gross to me. Like, I don't know what's going on. She like I don't know. Like, why so much Ozempic? I'm all set on joints that aren't fat taking Ozempic. If yeah. you're not 40, 50 pounds overweight, don't do Ozempic. Yeah. Like, just work out. She didn't even need... She maybe... I At one point, she might have got a little crazy. You could hit the treadmill a little bit. I was good with her shit. Like, she could have left that shit right where it was at. I mean, at one maybe point, her shit, her shit got thick to the point where her her, she, her yeeks had a little cottage cheese action. A little, a little bit of cellulite. So, it was like, all right. I uh, personally ain't I, give a I, fuck. I ain't give a fuck about that. Yeah. But I, I prefer why, that over skinny man. Yeah. I see why, as a celebrity, you want to tighten, tighten it up. Tighten that up. You know yeah. what I mean? But... It's like, bro. I was just, all I was, like you said, that, just, that could have been 30 minutes a day on the treadmill. That's it. That's all she looks got crazy, you right bro. Need to be. She looks crazy. She looks sick. I'm not jacking it. Now, if it comes out later that she got cancer or something, my yeah, bad, I swear. But yeah. right now, like, I, I think it's Ozempic and she's out of line. You know what I mean? Like, Copy. I'm on set on her. She's not even sexy no more, bro. Yeah, I don't like, like how she looking. She's not like, she need, She don't even got no new music out. Like, it's just, it's just nasty, bro. <laughs> That's, that's our, our show, man. Yeah, that's our show. And that on the Ice Spice Slender note, man. Yeah, all right. Highlight well, us. us. All set pod dot store, man. NFL Live every Monday. NFL 12 tapping on Mondays. All set pod dot store. And we on a new schedule, man. We dropping every Thursday at 4 p.m. New World Set episodes when we when we actually record some shit. Ah ah.